Welcome back to my channel. This is the Your Chicago Land Living Show. My name is Sophia Ojuku, real estate broker, coach, and entrepreneur. Today we're talking all about how to get your home ready for gorgeous home listing photos. One of my clients was having a hard time getting set up for a photo shoot. And because of that, I decided to make this video. I'm sure you've seen those gorgeous pictures of homes on Trulia and Zillow. And many of those pictures are professionally shot and staged. But you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to get your home ready. All you need to do is to follow these simple tips to get your home ready so that your pictures will hook a possible buyer at first sight. <laughs> Isn't that what you want? So well, here are my four tricks for capturing the most flattering photos. Number one, declutter, 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 declutter. <laughs> Arrange your space with minimal furniture, neutral decor, and take down the family photos. So more advice is to nix those heavy drapes that block the light from the windows. You want an open and airy space. Let the light in. Number two, turn off the fans and turn on the lights. All of them. A well-lit space is going to look amazing and that much more wonderful and that much more welcoming. So the brighter, the better. Light will shine throughout the home. People can see the space. It actually even makes the space look bigger. So number three is to decide the weather for the perfect shot. Does your home have an incredible sunset view? Or can you watch the sunrise as you sip coffee? <laughs> from the kitchen table. Whatever magic happens at your home, this is the best time to take photos. So number four and last trick is to make sure the outside looks clean too. Don't forget to get rid of all the garden hose, the bikes on the yard, move the car out of the driveway. Make sure the hedges are cut, trimmed away from the windows, and there are strong, clean lines that you can see standing from the curb. Because the photographer is going to be standing on the curb while they take that um, front shot of the picture of the house. So the outdoor shot is usually the first image that potential buyers will see. So make it count. Now, without using an agent, chances are your listing photos will not be professionally done and they will actually hurt you instead of help you. A picture says a thousand words, so a seasoned agent can help you decide what to do to capture the best photos before the photographer even arrives. I'm usually with my clients every step of the way. The first thing I do is to give them a custom recommendation for their particular home so that they're prepared for the photo shoot. I also make sure that even before the photographer shows up, that I highlight the, the great features that they have to capture, or the, I recommend that they capture to make your house pop. At this point, you may be convinced that you need some guidance, right? Around the area of flattering listing photos. But you may also be thinking that you have no idea where to start. Well, if you're thinking about making a move, I can help you through the process. Just comment below, no pressure, no sales tactics, just the help and guidance that you need. Finally, if you're a resident of the Chicagoland area, I want to let you know that I will be, I would like you to comment below um, so that when I launch my Facebook group, I can send you a special invite. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. I hope that you enjoyed
enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification button so that when i upload my video which i do on wednesdays every wednesday you will get notified so you can hop on and see what i've got going even though i have a commitment to upload videos once a week as i go about my day i might get a question that triggers me to turn on my camera and answer it on a video so that others can get their answers their questions answered i figured if my client is asking there are probably other people that want to know or have that same question i always go back and check the videos in order to answer all your questions in the comment section. So if for some reason you have any questions, please post them down below in the comment section and I will respond. As always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.